everyone. It's Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. And today we are making eye pins. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone. Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making eye pins. We're going to need a nylon hammer. This hammer I'm using has both the metal and the nylon, so make sure you're using the nylon side. Round nose pliers, nylon pliers, flush cutters, a sharpie, a measuring, an anvil, and of course, your wire. So let's get started. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our round nose pliers and we're going to decide the width we want of our eye pins. And this is the width I want, so I'm going to mark it right on my pliers. Now don't worry, this will come off eventually. But if you're doing a project that requires a number of eye pins, this will just help you keeping them all um, the same size. So now what I'm going to do is working right off my spool of wire, I am going to grab the wire at the very, very end. Okay. And now I am going to roll it until it touches the other side. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to give it just a little bend in the other direction, okay? Now I'm making my eye pins three inches long. So I'm going to take my flush cutters and cut them at three inches, okay? So this is what we've got so far. Now feel free to adjust the eye pin at any point that you see, think it's necessary. This one's pretty good. Okay. So now you've got the eye pin. What you want to do is you want to start hardening it. So this is where your anvil and your nylon hammer comes in. You just want to start giving it some bangs, okay? And you want to go up the eye pin a bit, and you want to do this. Now you turn it to the other side, because what you do to one side, you have to do to the other, okay? And you're just hardening it. It's important that you use the nylon side for this, because if you were to use the metal, you would actually flatten the wire. This is not flattening the wire. This is just hardening it so that it makes it um, more secure so it holds its shape. Now, just like with the eye of the eye pin, we want to harden the length of it. So this is where our nylon pliers come in. We're just going along, I guess you'd call it the shaft of that eye pin, and we're just hardening it by just running it through. We're also straightening it. And we're just going to do that a few times. Usually do it 10 or 12 times. If you want to use your anvil and hammer, you can do that as well. And this just makes it so that, you know, when you make your section, whether it be for um, a necklace or an earrings or a bracelet, it just makes it so that it doesn't go out of shape. And the reason I make them three inches is because I'd rather have too much than too little. There we go. So that's how you make a wire eye pin. So if you like this tutorial and you want to see other videos of mine, just hit the little bell so you'll get notifications. Hit the like and subscribe and if you want to leave a comment, uh, what I'm doing is by showing you this eye pin, I can then do some other videos 
that use the iPin in future. And uh, you can just do a quick view of this video to see what we did to get an iPin and yet still have that video in case you don't need to be taught how to do an iPin. You know what I'm saying here? Okay, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, hit the like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye now.